Hello, and thank you for stopping by the Massachusetts Beer Review channel of YouTube. I am Thomas Metal 75, and this is your Massachusetts Beer Review, and we are live now to review a Trillium beer. I'm excited to bring you Trillium. I love Trillium, favorite brewery. The hype exceeds expectation in my case. Today, we're going to be reviewing an American IPA. 7.2% alcohol by volume. It is called Sleeper Street. Again, American IPA, 7.2% alcohol by volume. It's, you know, it came in a 64 ounce Rattler jug. They come with these kind of style labels. So it says Sleeper Street, and it says the name of the beer, the style, and the alcohol by volume. Trillium. Come on, all the growlers, 32 ounce growlers, and 64. Trillium, for me, is about 25 to 30 minutes from where I live in southern Massachusetts. It's in the town of Canton, Massachusetts. 110 Shaw Moat Road, Canton, Mass. And also on, when they started in 2013, 369 Congress Street in Boston, Massachusetts. Here is what Sleeper Street's IPA looks like. This is your typical New England style hazy IPA. Definitely in the light, it is. It's an orangey, yellow, lemony kind of a color. Definitely has that orange, grapefruit, pineapple, fruit juice kind of an appearance. It had a little bit of a bigger head, but still it's creating a lot of that lacing and that foam. No popping and fizzing. Bought this. 64 ounce growler last week and opened it today and it's still fizzy and good. So let's get a nose. Before I get a nose on the beer, let me give you a description commercially of the beer, including its um, ingredients. They say Sleeper Street, following in the footsteps of our street IPAs. Sleeper shares the same base grains while placing the unique El Dorado hop at center stage. Opaque, opaque orange, I should say, yellow in color, with floral aromas of lime zest, grapefruit peel, pine sap, and candied orange. Juicy, hop-driven flavors of bright citrus, melon, and herbal pine are balanced with bitterness, fluffy mouthfeel, and dry finish. They use El Dorado and the Columbus hops. They use a lot of Columbus hops which I think gives it a dank, green, cut grass, earthy, green, smokable flavor. Um, the malts are two-row barley, dextrin, C15, and the unique one here that I find in the taste going through the growler is this white wheat. So let me give you a smell test of this beer. And it is gorgeous. The smell is a lot like the the other Trillium beers. It has this juicy, hop-driven kind of a quality. It's definitely grapefruit. It's definitely pineapple. And it's definitely orange or some kind of orange peel. And that's exactly kind of smell that I'm getting. I'm getting a light biscuity malt and a little bit of a resinous pine. Yeah, it smells like your Trillium IPAs and double IPAs for sure. Let's get a taste of this Sleeper Street on camera. Cheers, Trillium, everybody. Sorry about that, guys. I was thinking about that. Too big of a swallow. I was thinking about that. And it's falling through the nose quite fantastically. I'm getting, just like with a lot of Trillium-style IPAs, and I guess in general, I've never had the Treehouse beers, but I have had Heady Topper. And it follows in that sense where it's a very um, juicy, citrusy, forward IPA. It definitely... 
tastes like and it drinks like a combination of grapefruit and pineapple and orange type juices. It really does. There's a little bit of a, of a dankness when it finishes. And it does finish on the dry side with a little bit of sweetness. I mean a little bit of sweetness when it's, when it's primarily dry. I'm getting some resinous pine towards the end when it starts to go dank a little bit. I think the Columbus hops are kind of on the dank side. And Trillium really utilizes the Columbus hops, and sometimes they'll do a dry hopping or a double hop style of an IPA or a pale ale with Galaxy, and, and you'll get those flavors as well, those green, grassy, smokable green herbs. It's pretty carbonated still a week later at, before even opening the growler. I opened it today. Still got a good carbonation bite. I would say, and this is one thing that I would never have thought of until I went to the Trillium's website and found out that they utilize a white wheat malt alongside the two-row barley malt. The white wheat malt is giving it a fluffy, I think it's the white wheat malt. Correct me if I'm wrong, YouTube. But I think the white wheat malt is giving this beer a fluffy, almost a smooth type of a feel. I can only think that this white wheat malt, I mean... Sort of you get that taste of a wheat beer, but I actually wouldn't have thought about that again until I tried it. It's lightening up the body of the beer, and it's making it a little bit more drinkable, and it's reminding you, uh, as Trillium would say, that of their of their juice hop-driven flavors. So yeah, let me give you another taste and a final thought and grade on the Sleeper Street IPA from Mother Freakin'. Trillium. The main production facility where this came from, Canton, Massachusetts. Yes, sir. I'm going to give that a burp full. I'm going to give that beer somewhere between a 93 and a 94. It's a class range bordering that A plus range. My immediate complaint, if any, is just the carbonation level. If it was a little bit softer in the carbonation, maybe the beer would be a little bit smoother because juices, unless, um, I don't know, some juices you can buy at, say, a Tedeschi's corner store or anything like that, you can find carbonated versions of fruit juices, but. To me, the less carbonated, the easier to drink. And since this is 7.2% alcohol by volume, you feel it after a few glasses, but you definitely do not taste any of it. And Trillium beers are my favorite of all time in the beers that are made. I know they're a little bit more expensive than others, but I'm still going to give that an A, ordering an A+. Plus. For the Sleeper Street... IPA, if I go to the Trillium's Brewing website and let you guys know, most of their beers are available in a 750 milliliter bottle. 12 bottles usually are a limit depending on which beer it is. You get 32 ounce growlers depending on which beer it is, and a 64 ounce growler depending on which beer it is. And they limit you per beer at their Boston and my Canton, Massachusetts location. So, Four, they also make a double dry hop at this point. I haven't tried that yet. This is just the Sleeper Street. So, again, for Sleeper Street, the price range in American U.S. dollars for all my Canadian friends, the price point for the American dollars for, if I can even find it, yeah, here it is, for Sleeper Street, they say 12 bottle limit per person, $10.05. U.S. for each bottle of 750 milliliters. The 32-ounce growler will cost you a $10 fill, and this one cost me an $18 fill. 
128 ounces per fill is the limit per person. I'm going to say 93 and a half is my rating. Just would wish for a little bit less of a carbonation bite. This is a phenomenal beer. Say what you want about the price range, but when you buy Trillium beers, you get that price range. Unfortunately, to anybody watching before I go, I cannot participate in trades just because I live in Massachusetts and they do not allow for the shipment of beer, which is sad because I would trade some people beers for some beers I cannot get. But 94, uh, 93.5 and a fucking range beer. Till next time, keep tasting these great beers. Get you some Trillium if you can. Cheers. We'll see you soon. This is a medium-bodied beer. I forgot. Cheers.